For the final video in this section on inputs and forms, let's handle form submission for our login form. First up, we need to define a new function. Let's name it handle submit. Inside this function, there's a crucial check we need to make. We'll see if the validate form function returns true. If it gives us a thumbs up, we'll log the form values along with a submitted message. And here's the cool part. We'll also reset the entire form state, errors included. Set username to an empty string, set password to an empty string, and set errors object to an empty object. We will assign this function to the on press event of our button. Ideally, you would submit the form details to an API endpoint, but logging to the console is good for now. All right, let's test it out. Heading back to the UI, if we click login without filling in the details, we will see the error messages. But once we fill in those details and click login again, the error messages vanish and the form state is reset. The form values are also logged in the console. The login form is working as expected. With that, we conclude this section on inputs and forms in React Native. We've explored the text input and switch components understood the props they support, designed a login form, managed its state, added some validation, showcased error messages, and of course, submitted the form. As I mentioned in the first video of this section, we will learn about other form controls that are not part of the React Native library and usage of a form library like React Hook Form in a different section later in the series. But for now, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.